Hi everyone! Today we're going to talk a little bit about our experience of finding a job here in England uh, while sharing what we hope are useful tips for those of you who are uh, struggling to find a job or simply want to know more about this topic. So the first thing you need to get as soon as possible to work here is the national insurance number, also known as NIN. You need the national insurance number to work here and it is also necessary if you want to apply for a student loan, if you want to claim benefits and to pay for class 3 voluntary national insurance to apply for a, a state pension. Now, sometimes some employers do allow you to start working without having this number, uh, but only if you can prove you have the right to work in the UK and if you agree to get one uh, as soon as possible within the, the next couple of weeks. To prove you have the right to work in the UK, you can show them your biometric residence card or your ID or even your passport. However, the great majority of the employers won't offer you a job if you don't have this number. To get the name, you need to call the National Insurance Number application line to ask for a application form. You'll need to return this form along with uh, the proof of your identity and the right to work in the UK. When you get the application form by mail, you will be told what documents you can use as proof. After you apply, it can take up to 16 weeks to get your national insurance number. At the moment, because of COVID-19, you won't need to have a face-to-face -face interview like we had. After you have this number, you might start thinking how much money you're going to be paid. So, in terms of the hourly rate for the minimum wage, it depends on your age and whether or not you're an apprentice. Please also remember that to get the national minimum wage, you need to be at least school leaving age. Now, school leaving age depends on where you live. For instance, if you live in England, you can leave school on the last Friday in June if you will be 16 by the end of the summer holidays. So these are the current rates, uh, but please keep in mind that they change on the 1st of April of every year. Finally, when it comes to searching for a job, we strongly recommend you this app called Indeed Jobs that you can download. It is commonly used here as you can search for a specific job at a specific location and it is also relatively easy to use. You can compare salaries, see the description of a job, the qualifications you need to have, the benefits and the days of the week you need to work. You have lots of filters, so for example, if you are looking for a part-time job, you can filter your search so that it only shows you jobs that fit your needs. We also recommend that you invest a little bit of your time creating a LinkedIn profile. This app is commonly used by the employers when they are searching for someone to work for them. So please remember to create a LinkedIn profile and add your education, your achievements, your awards, etc. A lot of people receive job offers through this app. Before ending this video, we just wanted to tell you that if you are an international student and are not able to get a full-time job because of your studies and you don't feel comfortable getting a part-time job because it comes with a lot of responsibilities as going there once a week and you have limited number of days holiday so uh, your flexibility is really limited and you, you don't feel like you have enough time sometimes you can't even go uh, to visit your family on Christmas, for example. Yeah, there's also an option for you. For example, here there are agencies that offer you temporary work, uh, like Evolve, Berry Recruitment and others, that work within the uh, hospitality and catering industry that you don't need to accept unless you want to. As I said, these all are temporary jobs, and before signing up to one, you have time to check the hourly rate, the description of the job, the location of the job, and all of these other... And the time, for example. And the times, yeah. And then you decide if you want to go or not. Another thing that you need to have to work in the UK, it's a British bank account. We've previously made a video about UK bank accounts, and if you want to know more about this topic, you can click here in the video. We really hope this video was useful. Uh, recently, we've reached 300 subscribers and that's insane, uh, so please keep supporting our channel and if there is any specific video that you would like us to do, 
please comment uh, that idea down below. Good luck with your job search and see you next time. Bye!